x equals a transpose b are called the normal equations. They are used to find the x hat. So the solution to this thing is called x hat. And the x hat that we find makes a x hat as close as possible to b. <laughs> and then the length um, of b minus a x hat, or the magnitude of b minus a x hat, is called the what? Least squares error. Yeah. All right, so all of chapter six has been leading to today. Um, we've been working on how to find the point closest to y. Like if you're given some vector y, you want to find the point closest to y in a given vector space w. So today we're going to use all of that um, theory that we've been working on to find um, the closest possible approximate solution to an inconsistent linear system. So it's very, very common when you're working with lots of variables um, and lots of unknowns in a real life setting to come up with a system of equations and unknowns that actually is inconsistent. There is no solution. There is no x that will solve all of them at the same time. But we could find the closest possible x, right? We can find x that gets you as close as possible to all of your b's that are on the right-hand side of the equation. All right, so first we just want to verify um, that I've given you an inconsistent system here. There is no solution. So if you remember, we augment with 0, 1, 2. We're going to row reduce. <coughs> and you get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. So what is it in that augmented uh, matrix that tells me that the solution is inconsistent? Yeah, it's this last row, right? This last row says that 0x1 plus 0x2 equals 1, which is impossible. So there is no solution. So there is no x1, x2 that will solve this system. So what I'm going to do is I want to find the least square solution. I'm going to find an x hat <coughs> that gets me as close as possible to the 0, 1, 2 that I'm given for b. So I'm going to find an x that gets me as close as possible. We call that thing x hat, the least square solution. All right, so I solve um, the normal equations, which is a transpose a, and I'm looking for x hat. So I'm just going to write that as x hat equals a transpose b. So this is just um, a, a fairly straightforward computation. The reason that this works is given in your textbook. I'm not going to develop all the theory about why this equation works. It's um, kind of cute, uh, but basically we're just going to use it. And you can read it if you're interested. All right, so a transpose means take a and um, make every row a column and every column a row. So a transpose is going to be 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1. So that's a transpose. a is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1. And then x hat is my unknowns, x1, x2. equals a transpose, which is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, times b, which is 0, 1, 2. <clears throat> All right, so this just involves some, some multiplication, some matrix multiplication. So this is um, a transpose is a 2 by 3. a is a 3 by 2. So when I multiply them together, I should get a 2 by 2. And you can have your calculator do the multiplication, or you can just do quick row times column. 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1 is 3. And then 1, 1, 1 times 2, 1, 1 is 2, 3, 4. 
and go to your next row. 211 times 111 is 234. And then 211 times 211 is 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. So that's A transpose times A times X1, X2 equals A transpose times B. So this is 2 rows by 3 columns. This is 3 rows by 1 column. So when I multiply these, I should get a 2 by 1. <coughs> So 111 times 0, 1, 2 would be 3. And 211 times 0, 1, 2 should also be 3. Now I would just augment and row reduce. And I get 1001. Zero, zero, one. 3, negative 1.5. So that's my x hat. I found it. So x hat called the least square solution. It's an x1, x2. It's not the solution to my original equation because that had no solution. This should get me as close as possible to the b, um, which I will check in just a second. So this is 3, negative 1.5. My x hat. All right, so now I want to I want to verify that this is like a good a, 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 an approximate solution to an inconsistent system. So if I multiply a times x hat, right? Remember I was trying to solve ax equals b. That was my original equation. It doesn't have a solution. But if I find ax hat Okay, so my a is 111 B is 2, 1, 1 times my x hat of 3, negative 1.5. Just do a quick matrix multiplication, and I should get this is a 3 by 2 times a 2 by 1, so I should get a 3 by 1, which is good because that's what B was, 3 by 1. So when I multiply those together, I get 0, 1.5, 1.5. And B was 0, 1, 2, right, which is as close as possible to 0, 1, 2 as any x1, x2 will get us. That's B. <clears throat> this guy, 0, 1, and a half, 1, and a half, the closest possible point to B is called B hat, right? Just like we've been doing Y is Y hat. That's the closest possible point. So this is B hat, and it's the closest point to B. It's as close as you can get to B in the column space of A. So remember, the column space is the set of all linear combinations of the columns of A. And if you do A times a vector X hat, any X, you're going to land in the column space of A. So what we were looking for was the point closest to B that lives in the column space of A. So it's called B hat. So we want to write B as a sum of a vector in call A and a vector orthogonal to call A. So B is going to be B hat plus Z. This is what we were doing last class. B hat I already found. Right? It's the closest possible point in the column space of A. <coughs> 0, 1 and a half, 1 and a half. So B, 0, 1, 2. B hat is 0, 1 and a half, 1 and a half. And then to get Z, you just figure out what goes in here. You can subtract B minus B hat. So you do 0 plus what gives you 0. 1 and a half plus what gives you 1. Uh, negative a half. And two, one and a half plus what gives you two, a half. So I wrote B as a vector in call A. We know that this is in call A because it's A times x hat. And A times any vector is, is going to be in the column space. And then this one 
should be um, orthogonal to Kale. <coughs> All right. So by definition, the least square solution, the x hat, is the vector that makes ax as the closest to b possible. So we want b minus ax hat to be less than or equal to b minus ax for any other x. No matter what x you choose, you want b minus ax hat to always be smaller than it because you want x hat to be the best possible solution. So this is the definition of as close as possible written in mathematical notation. So I'm just going to show that it's true for like a couple of x's to convince you. So I want to calculate the length of bx hat, um, sorry, b minus ax hat, and that is z, right? Because this is ax hat, this is b. So b minus ax hat, if you subtract ax hat from both sides, you're left with z. So I just want to do the length of z. So that's the length of 0, negative 1 half, a half, which is square root of 0 squared plus a half squared, which is a quarter, plus a half squared, which is a quarter, which is the square root of a half, which is approximately 0 0.707. All right, pick any other x um, that, that you could put in for there. So it, ha it would have to be a 2 by 1. So two entries. <laughs> two entries, right? Because a, a is um, a 3 by 2. So whatever you multiply a by to make an ax would have to be a 2 by 1. Okay, so uh, I got zero, zero, somebody said. All right, so let's say zero, zero. So I want to calculate um, B minus AX for the X I just chose. So B is zero, one, two, minus A, which is one, 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 times two, uh, one, 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 two, one, one, X, zero, zero. And I want to do the length of this whole thing. OK, so this is 3 by 2, 2 by 1. My results should be a 3 by 1. 0, 0, 0. All right, so it's just the length of 0, 1, 2 which would be the square root of 0 plus 1 plus 4, which is square root 5. And let's see what that is. Two 2.23, <coughs> which is bigger than 0 0.707. So we showed for one particular x, um, that we chose at random, the length of b minus ax is longer than the length of b minus ax hat. So we could just keep choosing x's all day, and you would never find a length that's smaller than 0 0.707, because x hat gets you as close as possible to the b. Uh, yeah. 0 0.707 is less than or equal to 2.23. Okay, check whether the columns of A are orthogonal. And if they are, we can actually find um, our B hat using the methods that we did uh, last class. Okay, so I have one, 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 
is my first column dotted with 2, 1, 1, which is 2 plus 1 plus 1, which is 4, which is not 0. So the columns are not orthogonal, which means I can't finish this question. Um, but there will be one in your activities where you do finish this question, because if the columns of A are orthogonal, you can use those special formulas that we did um, given a Y, find the Y hat, um, where, where your columns of A are your U1 and your U2. And you can use those formulas with your B, B playing the role of Y. So the projection of B under the column space of A, that's your B hat. And you would calculate it by doing B dot U1 over U1 dot U1 times U1 plus B dot U2 over U2 dot U2 times U2. You can, these formulas are only allowed if U1 and U2 are orthogonal. So I can't do it right now, but you will do it in your activities. You will have an example where the columns are orthogonal.